Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, what a wonderful Wednesday it is. I have to say you can probably only half see my face because of the lovely sunshine streaming in. But welcome to our um, Wednesday uh, webinars. Um, over the course of the, the pandemic, we obviously worked with an awful lot of suppliers and we found that some suppliers were particularly fantastic in looking after our customers. And so we've taken a more proactive approach to working with some of them. And I'm delighted to say that one of them is going to be our presentation today. So we're joined by SAS from Newmarket. They're a company that we're delighted to showcase and sell more of their holidays simply because we like the way they work. It's as simple as that. And so um, it's great that we've got an opportunity for them to showcase their product this morning. And so as usual, please ask away any questions in the group. Just tap the screen, press the chat facility, and I will ask the questions at the end of the session. But in the meantime, Sas, I will hand over to you to do your bit. Thank you very much, Miles. So, hi, I'm Sas from New Market. Um, just wanted to sort of go over a little bit about the company, what we do, some of our products. Um, I look after account manager for everything from Midlands down to Cornwall. I like to think it's because I'm that good. That's the reason why. Um, so as you can see here, we've got our holidays and tours collection. We do our Lapland and Santa trip. Um, we also do premium all-inclusive river cruise as well. Um, but who are New Market? So we're about to enter into our 40th year. We're a totally independent tour operator. Um, it's a family-run business or three owners that started it back in 1985. Um, uh, sorry, 1983. And um, we've actually won at the British Travel Awards, which is voted for by the public. For the last eight years in a row, we've been voted best escorted tour operator, beating all the other escorted companies in the UK. And then more recently, last week, as you can see from the picture, we won best mainstream touring company at the Travel Globe Awards, which is voted for by travel agents. So we're doing something right. Um, all of our tour managers are experienced. They either live over there or they have worked over there for many years. So they know their stuff as, a, as they're going along. We do a huge mix of short haul holidays, um, long haul, as well as Lapland. We work closely with Fred Olsen for ocean cruising. And then we also do river cruising with A Rosa, which is our premium four star all inclusive. Um, we have solo tours. We actually have two types. So we do all our normal tours. We have solos on there. So you can have single passengers and travel with the rest of the other groups. But we also do some dedicated departures, which is just for solely for, sol for solos. So you'll get a welcome meeting. Um, you'll have, there'll be no su um, single supplements on the, on those dates, on those accommodations. So you're traveling with like-minded travelers and that's on the solo tours. A lot of our tours you can do, you can extend your holiday. So you can extend it and do beach days. So a really popular one is things like Kenya Beach and Safari. We do um, our Grand Kenya Safari where you can stay in Mombasa on an all-inclusive for either four or seven nights. Same in India, you can do more extensive touring of India, do more cities, or you can do things like Kerala and stay on a houseboat. Even in New England, you can move on and you can stay, you transfer over and do things like Quebec. So it's really flexible, loads of different options for extending. We do lots of small group tours as well. So anything between 16 and 25 passengers is the maximum that we'll take on a small group tour. So things like Peru and the Galapagos, for example, they only take 16 passengers maximum. So anything like that, by all means, check with the guys at Mars Morgan. They can check with our fact file and they can tell you then how many is going to be on that tour. Um, hotel quality. A lot of our hotels, especially worldwide, are all four and five star hotels. Um, the only time we really have to use a three star is if it's in an area where that's the only option to us. It's the only hotel or there's a lot of hotels that only take, um, some hotels will only take groups, others won't take groups. So it all depends on what's available to us. But that's the same for every touring company out there. And obviously, we, you can all book, you can book all of our tours through Miles Morgan. So all of their branches pop in seats, exactly the same price to book with uh, Miles Morgan is it is direct. So book with your travel agent, you keep us all in a job. So new brochure, um, we do absolutely everywhere from UK, Ireland, Europe, USA and all further afield. We've got 18 new tours in this brochure. 
we bring out two brochures a year, one in January and one in July. So when the new one comes out in July, there will be more new tours again. But some of my favourites is things like the South Africa. Anything for Safari Wise is doing phenomenal this year. Elvis is always going to be our biggest seller by far. Um, India Tigers and Taj is a huge one because it's such incredible value for money. And then things like Venice, Verona and Lake Garda, you know, three classic places in Italy. Um, Bristol and Exeter departures. We actually have 73 tours that you can actually fly from your local airport to. As an example, you can see there, Spirit of Krakow, Scottish Highland Railways, um, Dubrovnik. Some of these places now as well, we've actually started loading 2023 dates on, so you can plan way in advance and book your 23 dates. And as I say in Elvis, Elvis is our biggest seller. We actually have 52 dates for our Elvis tour. And this is going to be even more popular this year when the Elvis biopic comes out in the cinema in June. Um, Tom Hanks is, is in it. Um, this is going to be really, really popular. More so than it already is, hence why we're putting on even more dates. You've got, we stay at the so four star hotels, staying at the, the guest house at Graceland. Um, it's Virgin flights into Atlanta, so it's fantastic flights. And it's leading in for nine days from just £1,572 per person at the moment. Um, we also do a Caribbean cruise. So if you wanted to do this itinerary and add a cruise on at the end, you've got uh, Deep South Rhythms um, and then you stay on the Carnival Glory and your gratuities are also included on that. And that leads in from just 2559 per person. Or if you fancy going to Texas and seeing the Alamo, then you can book our Texas, Presley's Memphis and New Orleans, and that's from 2469. Again, all of these are on sale until 2023. So we've even started bringing out some tours now for 2024. And then India Tigers and Taj, this is just phenomenal value. Um, this is a 10 day tour. It's four and five star hotels. You use, we use Virgin flights from Heathrow. You get 12 excursions included, 22 meals are included. You get two tiger safaris. Um, and this is leading in at the moment from just £1,127 per person, which is incredible. Our nearest competitor that does a similar tour, similar dates, similar flights, or same flights, same duration, are leading in at just uh, from £1,799 per person. Yes, they may do a door-to-door -door on that, but it's not going to cost you £600 per person to get to the airport and back. For £600, I would want Tom Hardy to piggyback me all the way to Heathrow for that. Um, India, one of the, the price on that leading is around, is, is anything from April through to June. A lot of people think that's um, monsoon season. It's not. It's actually one of the really good times to go to India because, especially for doing your tiger safari and seeing your tigers, when you go to Ranthambore, because it's pre-monsoon, everything's very dry, everything's very barren. Um, it's very hot. You're looking at about 40, 42 degrees, but it's a it's a dry heat rather than a humid heat. So it's bearable. But because everything's a lot more barren, you've actually got an 80 percent higher chance of seeing the tigers because there's less foliage and less things for them to hide behind. So actually, those are really fantastic times to go and see. If you go September onwards after the, the um, monsoon, everything's a lot more green they're a lot more lush. So you have got a slightly lesser chance of seeing them. Um, again, we do extensions on our India tours. So you can say, like I say, you can do Goa for beach, you can do Kerala, stay on a houseboat, you can do Varanasi in the Ganges. And then we also do Mirari Beach as well. So there's loads of different options if you want to extend at the end. And then our popular South Africa is Mabula Lodge. We've just launched this for 2024 dates. Um, this is a luxury lodge. It's absolutely beautiful. You go in search of all the big five. Um, it's pretty much malaria free. So you don't have to worry about having to take tablets. You've got um, wildlife talks, bush walks. It's on a full board basis, but you can upgrade to all inclusive from 199 per adult and 99 per child. Because yes, it is actually child friendly. We actually do one of the very few operators out there that does um, family rooms and school holiday dates. So it went a bit crazy yesterday because we launched um, July and August dates. 
um, and we have rooms that will take up to two adults and two children. And with them having until 2024, they've got so much longer to pay for it, or you've got so much longer. So it's it's done really well, and we have child prices on it. There's things like kids clubs there. Um, you've got play areas. It's sort of babysitting services. It's really geared up for families, but perfect for couples as well. You know, it's only going to be. I think there's about um, well, there's, there's about 30, 35 on this tour. So again, it's not a huge tour, but this is on a full board. Um, and I say you cannot grade to your all inclusive. Virgin flights as well from um, Heathrow into Johannesburg. So fantastic options. Another safari that we do is our Sebatana safari, which again is on until 2024. We do our five star Rhino Lodge, which is more for, um, more for your couples. With, and then we also did the four star elephant lodge there as well, but that's on for 2024. And then Dubrovnik, Montenegro and the Dalmatian coast. This is always a top seller. This price 859 is actually based on Bristol flights for this October. It's a four star hotel. It's on a half board basis and you get five excursions included on this. So you'll visit the Kirka National Park. You'll visit um, Montenegro. You'll do the heritage site. It's just a really in-depth tour. And actually, price-wise, it's incredible value compared to, again, some of our competitors out there. You know, there's one operator out there which is who are more expensive. And you actually have to add on things like Mostar as an excursion. With us, it's included. So it's brilliant value. And we've just started loading on dates for this for 2023 as well. So that's another option. Um, it's important to mention that when we sell these holidays for 22, 23, and even 24, obviously flights aren't out, but we guarantee the prices of our holidays. So if you book a holiday for 2024, once it is booked, that is it is confirmed at that price. We will not come to you then if the price of the flights has gone up and ask for more money. Once it's confirmed, that's the price that you pay. And then Venice Brown and the Wonders of Lake Garda. We've got so many um, departures on this, but you actually do a week on Lake Garda. It's perfect for those that want to tour, but don't want to keep changing rooms and hotels. So you stay in the same hotel for a week. You choose your hotel. You stay there for the week and then you go out each day and you see the different destinations and excursions. So you haven't got to keep swapping and changing out of your, um, out of your suitcase. You get your say, half board basis on this. Um, choice of your hotel, um, flights from your local airport, your experience manager, you'll do Venice for the day, you can go to Rome, we do um, Verona, so you can do the Romeo and Juliet, it's just a phenomenal tour, I've actually been and done this um, particular tour, I did this when I first started Renew Market, and it was out of this world, seeing places like Sermione was stunning, um, we actually do 17 tours for Italy. So bear us in mind things like Rome and Pompeii. We do the Amalfi Drive. We do um, Puglia and down in the south. There's, there's, a, there's a huge selection of, um, of Italian tours and a lot from Bristol as well. And then don't forget us for things like bucket list tours. Um, one of the new ones we've just launched is Kruger Safari. And we've added on a Mozambique South Beach stay at the Machangula Beach Resort. This is actually four and five star hotels. You spend your first night in um, Camp Irene, which is a five star accommodation. You then move on to Camp Bethel for six nights all inclusive in the luxury, um, I say tents. They are absolutely stunning. They don't look like your typical two man tent. Um, proper double beds, proper bathrooms, balconies. Um, settees, seating areas. And then after that, you go on then three nights onto the Machangula Beach Resort. And the property here is out of this world. It literally looks like paradise. We do Peru, Ecuador and the Galapagos. And um, that's a 16 day tour. And that's, like I said, that takes a maximum of 16 people. Um, Madagascar for the Red Island Wonders. You can actually, you know, cuddle lemurs. You can see some fantastic flora and fauna out in Madagascar. One of the accommodations that we use, it um, you actually sit on a lake and it's all, it's almost like your own private little lakeside hut that sits and overlooks the lake. So you can sit on your own little jetty and look out. So Madagascar, that one's been really popular. 
Um, Kenya Beach and Safari. This is incredible because you can actually do. It's a best. It's a bit of touring and a bit and a, a bit of relaxing and stay, because you'll actually do four three nights all inclusive at the Voyager in Mombasa. You then go on to do safari for four nights at the Five Star Tater Hills, which is a stilted accommodation, and it actually sits and overlooks a watering hole. So you can sit at the night time having a drink and watching the animals literally drink from their watering hole opposite. You get your four game drives included, plus others. And then after you've, you've finished your safari for four days, you go back to the Voyager for four nights, all inclusive again at the end. So it's a bit of beach, adventure and beach. So it's perfect. And then your five star Alaska cruise and Canadian Rockies and your Rocky Mountaineer. That's a phenomenal one. We can, you can actually do Alaska cruise and Canadian Rockies. You can add on the Rocky Mountaineer, or you can just do the Rocky Mountaineer on your own as well. Um, Japan Land of the Rising Sun, we do 13 days. I think it's leading at the moment at about three, five per person. And then Borneo Orangutans and the Rainforest Adventure. This is another one that we've added for 2024. Um, for, this is leading in from as little as 2160 per person at the moment for 2022 dates. So it's again, four and five star accommodations, ex all your excursions included. It's just looks, it's a phenomenal looking tour. And that's, this has been really popular with travel agents. And then obviously don't forget us for the UK, believe it or not, that picture is actually the UK that is up in Scotland doing the Highlands and Hebrides. Um, the UK obviously last year became very popular. People weren't traveling abroad as much because of, um, you know, regulations and so on. So we really grew our UK products. So we've got things like Edinburgh Highland Safaris, where you can actually get into a Jeep and go around and do a safari up in the, on the whiskey trails. If you want to go up to Liverpool and do the Cavern Club and go to the Casper Bar and um, do the Beatles um, tour, we've got all of that as well. Dorset and the Jurassic Coast. We've got our scenic North Wales and Chester. I actually took this tour in June last year and it's absolutely stunning. I mean, the amount of castles that we, we saw was just phenomenal. Um, saying a four star hotel as well in North Wales, in Chester to go on to North Wales. We've got your Kent castles and gardens. Obviously we do Andre Rieu in Belfast, UK and Maastricht. And then don't forget us for Wimbledon. We actually are going into a bit more of that on Wimbledon, but um, we do, um, two and three night breaks on that. So say Liverpool, Mersey Beats, you've got four nights and a bed and breakfast. We use um, really smart stay city waterfront apartments. You'll get your ori orientation walk. You've got your Beatles tour, Strawberry Fields, as I mentioned, your Casper Club with live music. Um, so it's a really sort of in-depth make your own, make, it's a make your own way tour but five days from just £315 per person, you know, accommodations and hotels are going to be that just to stay there. As I say, scenic North Wales and Chester. So on this one, you'll do a tourist drive on the Ponkashul Tea um, Aqueduct, which you actually go over on a two hour canal cruise. It's really relaxing. When we went, we had stunning weather. So it was so nice just sitting, having a glass of wine um, and going along the, um, the aqueduct. We, do, we saw the, we did an orientation just a walk of Chester. We went to Conway Castle, Bodnant Gardens, we went to Slandudno. So it is a, re, a real in-depth tour of North Wales. Um, and it's just a beautiful part of the country. And then Scottish Highland Railways. This is another huge tour for us. You've got, you go on the Glenfinnan Viaduct. So for those of you who are any, any Harry Potter fans, you know, a bit of Potterheads, this is perfect because you get to travel on the Glenfinnan Viaduct as Harry Potter did. You've got the Straths Bay Railway. You visit the Highland Resort of Aviemore and you can choose your hotel as well. So you can either do the Carbridge Hotel or the Highlander. It's entirely up to you. You can make your choice. It just depends on budget in which you prefer. But that's from Bristol. That's leading in from just five, five, five per person for your five days. And as I say, regarding Wimbledon, so it's um, now on sale. We do finals weekend. So it's the 7th or the 9th of July, two and three day itineraries. And you get a reserved seat on court number one, not centre court, court number one. So you get to sort of see um, matches from winners of yesteryear. Um, I think there's some doubles matches that are played. Some people use it just so that they can actually go and sit on Henman Hill and watch the actual final themselves as well and just take in for the atmosphere. 
So you get your accommodation for the night, you'll make your own way down to your hotel, we'll then give you transfers to Wimbledon and back, um, and obviously your ticket for whilst you're there in Wimbledon as well. And they lead in from as little as 199 per person. And then Lapland, this is huge for us for Lapland, um, really popular. There's lots of Laplands out there, but where ours differs is we fly into Paella, which sounds very Spanish, but it's the Swedish part of um, Lapland. So it's still part of the Arctic Circle. It's on the Finnish border, but it's exclusive to us. So unlike some of the other resorts like Rovaniemi, for example, where you can have two, three, four planes coming in any day, any given day, and you can have you know, anything from 1,000 to 1,500 people in resort. With us, we are the only aircraft that land in the airport that day. So it is a maximum of 186 people in the whole resort, which means there's no queuing for any of your activities. You'll get split up into groups. You get to do all your activities, which is your huskies, tobogganing, snowmobiles, your reindeer ride. You've got all your thermals are included, even boots and gloves. You get a two course lapish lunch. You get, as you're walking around the resort, they're giving out berry juice and gingerbread biscuits. Everything is in sterling whilst you're there. So you haven't got to change any currency over. And if you want to buy things like teas and coffees, hot chocolates, you're looking about a pound, pound 50. So it's not extortionate prices whilst you're there either. All the children get a, um, a gift whilst they're there. One of, the, one of the benefits of our Lapland, even though it's only a day trip, you actually get about eight hours in resort. And we're one of the very few Lapland day trips that when you get there, you actually have natural daylight for about two, two and a half hours, which makes a massive difference just to for seeing where you are, taking photos and doing all your activities. And we, ha we actually have an Exeter, Exeter departure on the 16th of December, and it's leading in at 579 per adult and 549 per child. So, and I'll just show you a bit of a video so you can actually see how magical this is. I've now just been through to see Santa and I'm walking through the enchanted forest. It's all lit up, it's really magical. And it's started to snow. We don't charge extra for the snow, that's included. Look! It's just fantastic. Just look at this. So when it comes to Lapland, as you'll have seen there, we, it's a very traditional kind of Lapland. You won't find elves and people running around singing, that sort of thing. It's a very traditional Sami Lapland. So they all dress in Sami dress. Um, so that's why it's really popular because it's a little bit more intimate and special. Oops, and then, and then discount wise, we've actually got at the moment, if you book with your Miles Morgan branch, you can actually have until the end of this month, 10% um, off all of our tours, except Lapland, Andre Rieu and Wimbledon and River Cruise. But any of our short haul European long haul tours, you can actually take 10% off at the moment, exclusive if you book with Miles Morgan. And that's it. Thank you so much for your time. Is there any questions? Well, thank you very much, Sas. That's fantastic. Um, please do tap the screen and ask a question if you've got any questions. I, a couple from me, um, awful lot of programs, huge amount of program that, that Newmarket offer. Um, 
what would be because i know you've been on a lot of the trips what would be your standout pick of the trips that you've done uh, and and why can you give us a few reasons why oh, for me it was by far hands down india absolutely phenomenal place it was one of those destinations where i'll be totally honest i was not really that bothered about going to see and then new market said to me would you take the fan trip out and i was like yeah okay that's fine and it blew me away it's the most incredible place the sights the smells the sounds the people the people out there cannot do enough for you they don't have anything but they can't give you enough the hotels are out of this world you know four and five star hotels they really know how to treat you with hospitality the it's just the, the how the scenery differs from one within the, such a short space of time. You can drive one mile up the road and you've got shanty towns and the next you've got luxury villages and beautiful hotels. You've got you can be driving on the motorways and you've got herds of cows coming in the opposite direction. Mm. It's just and then the buildings. I mean, I actually, you know, when I went to see the Taj Mahal. I actually walked through and, you know, at the end of the day, it's a building, but I walked through and I actually felt myself going, oh, wow. I had to have my Diana moment as well on the bench. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the, and the food out there, a lot of people seem to think, oh, you know, I don't want to go to India, I don't like curry. The food out there is totally different to the food over here that we have Indian food. It's more about flavour than and spices rather than heat. We actually put the heat into the dishes over here. But if you're not into curry, they serve so many Western dishes as well. We've got customers that were um, and agents that were just eating ravioli or having pasta and so on and chips. So they cater for every different taste as well. But to me, India was just out of this world. Absolutely mm -hmm. loved every bit of it. And I would be going back again on my own tour, on my own trip. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you, you did allude to this as part of your presentation is, would it be fair to say, as far as what new market offer, that you do a lot of what other touring providers offer, you don't include transport to the airport, but the saving that customers get is so substantial that you represent amazing value for money? Would that be, would that be what you would say? Absolutely. I mean, when I was talking about the Borneo tour, for example, at the moment with our discount, we're leading, I think it's about 2160 per person. We have a competitor out there that does do a door to door. It's the same duration. It's that they actually give you less excursions and, and two meals less, but they are charging you a thousand pound per person more for the privilege of going to the airport and back. They're leading in at 3199 per person. Yeah, so, so I think you're right so i think that's that's an important consideration for everybody looking at it yes it's not included but actually you could probably well for a thousand pounds you could you could get a taxi up and back quite easily yourself you could have a chauffeur you could have a limo for that yeah well you'd probably save money even even from our part of the world up to heathrow it, it wouldn't cost you that that amount of money yeah exactly so you know it, it's just yes it's nice to have the door to door i'm not you know i'm not going to dispute that but you, there are there's companies out there that you guys probably use as well that you can do door to door pickups and taxi companies that can take them to the airport and they're going to be, you know, that money that you save that's another holiday that's just spending yeah. money. Mm. It's certainly a short break. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, exactly. Um, what one of the trends that we've seen over the past couple of years is obviously travel has been going through a very strange period. But one of the things that's been very consistent, one of the trends that we've seen is a huge boost in people booking lapland yeah you've done you've done that yeah our actually our exeter flight has probably got the most seats on it um but there's places like liverpool glasgow belfast norwich these are all pretty much full now um birmingham has got about 40 seats left on it same as east midlands and exeter not much more than that so it's exeter we, we, we're by the summer it will be full our lap land will be and, and and just to confirm you're talking about departures this coming december aren't you this Months december away. yeah already full already full um mm. and then we won't launch we normally launch 20 uh, the following year it normally launches the december um, 1st of December, but we'll probably launch a little bit earlier just because the demand is there at the moment for Lapland. And, and in terms of the highlights of a trip like that, what is it? Is it the dog sledding? Is it the experience? What What is it that, that makes well, people want to go to Lapland? 
that, it's just so magical, you know, it's back when my daughter was um, was that age, it wasn't really an option to go and take, you know, take my daughter to Lapland to go and actually see Santa. You've got you've got your activities, so you've got your husky rides, you've got your snowmobiles, you know, your but we get them all excited. So when they get to the airport, as you saw on the on the video, you know, you've got me there in giant glasses and I've got the whole plane to do a to do a selfie and it you know we get the kids up they all get an activity pack all the children when they get when they're bored and they have um a bucket in with song lyrics and we get the kids up on the tannoy getting them singing all the christmas carols we've got chocolate coins giving out um they've got an activity book of coloring in they can actually write their letter to santa it's just we get them all really hyped up um so when they actually get into resort and from the moment they land from landing to getting into your resort and onto the snow in your thermals, it's about half an hour. So it's you're literally in Lapland and you're off. So it, like I say, for us, it's just because of that exclusivity and we're the only flight that goes in that day, you've just got so much more time to do everything and see everything and enjoy it. And, and the the extras that you've got and you can do there, dog sledding was was in the video that you showed. What other sort of things can you do? You've got the snowmobiles, you've got the um, reindeer rides, obviously the husky sledding. Then we've got a giant um, sledding hill so they can actually get them, get onto their sledges and slide down into the um, in, into the, 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 the village. And then when it starts to get dark, that's when we light all the lanterns in the Enchanted Forest. And then they go through in their groups through the Enchanted Forest. It's all lit up, really magical. And they come out to the clearing to Santa's hut and they can have a private meeting with Santa. There's no sort of conveyor belt system, you know, in and out. If they want to spend two minutes or 10 minutes with Santa, it's entirely up to them. If they need more than 10 minutes, the chances are they've probably been too naughty and they're not going to get anything. <laughs> And certainly, you know, our experience is exactly what you said in terms of how well sold you are for this this December. It just seems to be, and I don't know why, whether it's because of, of lockdown, people are looking for more bucket list experiences, they haven't taken the kids on a summer holiday or whatever, yeah. but there is certainly huge demand at the moment for that plan. There's, there's no doubt about it. Your prices are great. So yeah. I guess it's not much of a surprise, really. <laughs> no, our, well, our Lapland is great. Well, look, thank you very much, Sass. Really appreciate your time this morning. I hope everybody made a note of the special deal that's been offered at the moment. So anybody that wants to book a new market trip with us, there is a special deal at the moment. So do pop into your local Mars Morgan Travel Shop. They can give you full details. They can give you a brochure. If you listen to what Sass said about India and you fancy picking up a brochure and seeing exactly what the tour offers, pop in. Again, they've got the brochures in the shop and they can go through it with you. But um, Thank you for joining the Zoom this morning. Sass, thank you very much for your thank time. You very much. Enjoy the sunshine, everybody. Thank Thanks you. very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.